Beloved in the Seven Day Adventist Church, beloved in the Seven Day Adventist Church, this is a very urgent, urgent message, a very urgent, urgent message called A Firm Stance Against Sunday Surge, Women's Ordination, Part 4. A Firm Stance Against Women's Ordination, Sunday Surge, Part 4. This is taken from um, Malachi chapter 2, verse 11. Judah hath dealt treacherously and abominations committed in Israel and in Jerusalem. For Judah hath profaned the holiness of the Lord, which, is, which he loved, and hath married the daughter of a strange God. Now, beloved in the Adventist church, woman's ordination of the Sunday church is a strange God. It's spiritual Babylon belief. It comes from the apostate Protestant world. It's not the way God has designed for us in these last days, beloved in the Adventist church. And it goes against the literal interpretation of the scriptures and against the Bible, beloved in the Adventist church. And it goes against the little interpretation of the spirit of prophecy as well. Sunday surge makes us think that we can worship on the first day of the week and still be saved. We can worship on um, Sabbath and have worldly music in our Adventist churches on Sabbath, after padding after Sunday songs. And we can dance in church on Sabbath and have ecumenical worship and um, on Sabbath and um you practice women's ordination while doing it, while having a seven day in this church. It's a baby image of the beast, beloved. If it quacks like a duck, if it, if, it, if it acts like a duck, it must be a duck, beloved, in the Adventist church. Constantine, in the early centuries, um, made Sunday a day of rest and festival, according to the great controversy, a chapter called Persecution in the First Centuries. And on the Sabbath, he made that a day of a Jewish Sabbath, a time of rest for the Jews. And then throughout the centuries, they made, they, made, they made Sunday more and more a day of sacredness according to the Council of Trent in 321 A.D. In 321 A.D., that's when Sabbath was trained as the Sunday at the Council of Trent. And when they're bringing in Sunday observance into the Adventist church, they're making us feel that we can now keep Sunday holy and have Sunday sacredness. The biggest issue I have with Sunday surge is not that they're doing evangelism on Sunday, but it's doing evangelism Sunday morning around the same time that the first day Christians have evangelism. And that's the appearance of evil, just like C.D. Books said when he was living. You know, C.D. Books was not alive, just like when these common kind of presidents and pastors say. Sunday evening is the time we should be having evangelism crusades. That's the point C.D. Books put out in one of his uh, sermons. C.D. Books knew what he was talking about. They lied about C.D. Books. These common kind of presidents are wolves in sheep's clothing. These pastors are wolves in sheep's clothing. You should know them about their fruits, beloved, in the Adventist church. And, um, you know, woman's ordination is another ugly thing that was raised up with an ugly head. First Timothy 2 12 says, Suffer not a woman to teach, nor do you suffer thought over man, but to be in silence. And we are bringing these two deadly evils into our church today, and the broader ecumenical objective for the Adventist church through the emerging church movement, spiritual information, things like that. And what that is doing is that's leading us back to the papacy. All roads lead back to mama. Come back to mama, the Roman Catholic Church. And that's the death of Protestantism. The, the Adventist Church is the last Protestant re reform, re reformation right now in the Christian world. Because as you see, the popular churches, the apostate Protestant churches, have already joined up with the papacy. They've rejected their protest against the Catholic Church. And when we bring in women's donations and Sunday church into our churches, beloved, we're rejecting the true Protestant Reformation of the Bible in this aspect by saying we take historical, critical, gr cultural, grammatical arguments, postmodernistic, higher critical arguments over the Bible, and not take the Bible just as it reads. The Bible declares that the seventh day of the week is the Sabbath, that is set for a holy convocation, for a solemn assembly, and for fasting and praying, and for searching, or, searching the Bible. Sunday is not a holy convocation. Sunday is a day of work and, and toil. And what they're doing by bringing, making Sunday a day of worship is by saying that they can do evangelism and preach on that day and, and teach doctrine on that day and worship on that day and call it the eighth day, not the first day. And that goes against the Bible and Sister White's writings, beloved in the Adventist Church. It's an apostasy of latter times. And I heard from a conference president today that they're considering bringing Sunday surge back Bringing Sunday surge back into the Adventist church in a couple of couple of months. Well, beloved, I'm going to sigh and cry against it if they bring it back into it again. And it's wrong, beloved. I'm not against the pastor personally. I'm not against the conference president personally. I love these men. 
I'm not against the seven day Adventist church personally, but I must sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the land. So I can receive my seal, beloved. The Bible says, I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over a man, but to be in silence. What does that mean? That means it's not to be spiritually teaching men. And a vote for women's donation is as says, is a vote for Sunday surge and for Sunday surge and Sunday secular disasters, Sunday worship in disaster days, and they're going to be lost. They're on their way to hell. They're on the way to be lost if they do this, beloved, in the Adventist church. And um, the true prophet from Judah, First Kings thirteen, was warned by God not to eat with the false prophet, or he would be destroy a line the way. Pray for me, beloved, that I will not try to work with a conference president that's doing these wicked things, even though I have a degree now and I can serve as a pastor. Pray that I work with a conference president who's practicing present truth in his ass days so that I'm not lost and give my soul away to Satan in his ass days. Pray that if a pre conference president does do these things, he can change his heart and change what the conference is doing, and I can work with him in an object of reforming the conference for working with that conference, beloved. God bless, Maranatha.